okay so now just let's have a look at few sensors i'll give you an overview though the better understanding will come when we actually start using them so sensors as i mentioned are mechanism which will allow us to take inputs so the easiest one which we have seen was keyboard it allows us to take input from the keyboard basically fine so you can specify the key over here you can add some modifiers like shift s shift k and all from these things so keyboard basically the sensor in senses the input when any key or key combinations are pressed then you have an sensor called as collusion this is very important where when you are making games or something when one object hits the other object or something how do you sense whether it has hit or rather you want to take some action on that basis so we use the collusion then we have the sensor joystick if you have joystick connected by external input device you can use that instead of keyboard then there is a mouse sensor this can be used as an input for mouse like if i use the mouse sensor i can use the left click right click all other buttons wheel movement and all i can detect as an input so we have this mouse one which can be used for detecting the mouse buttons left click right click mouse wheel or the movement of the mouse fine and use this as an input for any other action then the sensor that we can see there is some random sensor generate some random sensor ray it fires some kind of rays to some direction then uh, you have message sensors we can send and receive messages so if some object is generating some message we can receive them over here to take some action movement is this can be used for detecting movement of some object whether it has moved to some direction and all so multiple sensors are there which can sense some or the other kind of activity when that activity takes place we connect it via a controller and send it over here now uh, there are multiple controllers if you have worked with uh, different kind of uh, logic in programming the default controller is set to and fine so over here let us say i have added a mouse fine and left click is there so i want some action to take place when i click on the cube object now if it is just set to say left click what's going to happen is if i click anywhere it will send and it will send a high output pulse so what we would do is we will add another mouse sensor over here and we will say mouse over so now what happens is when mouse is over this object because this logic is associated with this object right now and when we connect it to the and controller fine over here both of them so what happens is this becomes a and logic like in programming so when my mouse is over here and the click takes place or rather when the click is taking place when the mouse is over this object we can associate it with some action right so here now let's come to the actuator parts or before that you could set this from and to or so or logic means either of this if there is a click or mouse is over this object so then also this will work so just like regular programming you can set that option from here actuators we have seen motion motion actuator for motion then there is a mouse actuator which can set the cursor visible or invisible then there is scene actuators which can change the scene if you have worked with blender you know that you can set different scenes over here then there is a steering you can steer some object the visibility of the object can be set set the camera and other related things are there different actuators as i mentioned we will be seeing these actuators as and when required in upcoming videos so that's a small overview of our sensors and actuators